Namaste everyone, this is Viru and you are welcome to Viru Yoga. So today we are going to look at Warrior A or Virbhadrasana A. So now the first point. From the standing position, there is a many way to go into the posture, either from the standing position or from the downward facing dog. So I'm going to show you from the standing position. So from the mountain pose, from here, I'm moving my left leg back. So the first question comes, how much distance should be in between the feet? So this one goes to person to person. Like for me, if teacher says around four feet, so if I do four feet, so maybe when I move into the posture, I'm quite flexible. So my knee, I can bend my knee more. So I have to move my foot a little bit more back. So this distance is good for me. But some of people, they have tight hip joints. So they might not feel comfortable with the distance. So they should move their foot a little forward. And once they find stability, that's a good distance for them so the distance is not fixed it goes person to person number two the back foot it should be 90 degree or 45 ideally it should be 45 degree angle because of the knee now the understand here if you turn your foot 90 degree angle out and you're doing external rotation from the right leg and here too much external rotation from the left leg too it will be difficult to bring balance between both hips so when you make your hips square you are rotating your left inner thigh in and grounding your left foot so most of the time people they hurt their knee they feel knee pain so it will be good idea turn your left foot inside 45 so knee can follow the second toe and then keep your back leg straight and bend your right knee and move into the posture so in this way you might not feel too much pressure on your knee now the third is making your hips a square shape what does that mean because this word comes again and again and stern often confused and they think their posture is not good because their hips is not a square now what does that mean with the feet apart from here if you see from this this side I'm turning my right leg out so this is the external rotation okay and I'm doing Virbhadrasana A so I'm turning my left foot in 45 degree angle so from here I'm facing front and bending my right knee so you can see I'm doing external rotation from the right leg and to balance between both legs external internal rotation should be important so doing external rotation from the right leg and do a little internal rotation from the left inner leg foot should be grounded now from here find the connection between your two hip bone maintain that engaged and then with this you bend your right knee you will find your legs become more strong it's not just like this Okay, so back leg is not going to bend. Back leg should be solid first. And little internal rotation from the left leg. So you can bring balance between your both hips, both legs, between external rotation and internal rotation. And then from there, you can bend your right a little more. And then I'm so over the head. So to bringing balance by doing, making your hips a square. But it's not mean is hundred percent square shape. No, there is no rule. So even if you feel in the beginning your hip is moving, turning left side from here because my left leg is back. So let it move. That's fine. With the time, try your best. Try to bring balance between both legs, external rotation, internal rotation, and feel that your legs is strong. And stable and can hold your upper body so this is all about the balance so it does not mean make your hips 100% square shape 
Now the next is there should be no back bend. Now for example, from here, most of the students they go for barrier A like this. If you're making arch like this, you cannot feel you're working with the glutes. So when you're going for the warrior A, from here, maybe front leg knees slightly straight, and then you're dropping your tailbone slightly down toward the mat. Now, back leg become more strong, and you can feel you're working with the upper part of the glute. And by dropping your tailbone slightly down, remember it's not too much, it's just a little subtle feeling and you can feel little tightening engagement in front of your two hip bone. That's why you are looking for the stability. And once you find that stability, your back leg, your back foot is grounded, then your arms over the head, maintain that tightening, that engagement and bend your right knee a little more. And then look toward your thumb. and then slowly come back so if you're doing simple back bend you might not feel you're working with the glutes and you will not find that stability which you are looking for in warrior a hope you like this tutorial and thank you for watching we'll see you soon namaste